Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I promised that I will do a video comparing the other Dove Beauty Bars to the original Dove Beauty Bar and here I am. So I found five to six additional Dove Beauty Bars for now and if I find more, I will just prolong the list of course. And instead of making just one extremely long video, I decided to divide them by making separated video reviews. I will review only two Dove Beauty Bars in one video. So brace yourselves because two Two to three more videos are coming after this one. Okay, so today I will compare Dove Shea Butter Beauty Bar and Dove Cream Oil Beauty Bar. I decided to put these two in one video because they both have an additional emollient added to the formulation. And today I want to see whether or not these two are more moisturizing than the original bar or at least less drying. Okay, so if you watched the previous video that I did on Dove Beauty Bar, then you would know that the beauty bar is a combo soap and if you haven't watched it I will put a link right here so you can check it out okay now let's see as I said already the beauty bar is a combo soap and that means that it has both scented bar base and traditional soap ingredients like sodium palmitate sodium stearate and sodium palm pernolate in the previous video though I didn't mention the pH balance of the beauty bar because I just couldn't find it on the packaging anywhere it's not stated on the packaging but I looked looked online and I found the information that Dove soap has a pH balance of 6, which is actually pretty good being that the natural pH level of the skin ranges from 4.5 to 6, so that is great and it means that Dove Beauty Bar is not going to change the pH balance of your skin. So in addition to this, it also has an excess amount of stearic acid that makes for that one quarter of a moisturizing cream effect, uh, which Dove uses as a main claim for their product. So Dove soap isn't like the other soaps and of course steric acid is a fatty acid that has great emollient properties okay now let's see what is it that is different with Dove Shea Butter and Dove Cream Oil first thing that comes to my mind is that these two should be more even more moisturizing than the original Dove Beauty Bar because they both have added emollients in them but let's see is that the case if we take a look at the ingredients we can see that they both have same base formulations as the original Dove Beauty Bar so they have a synthetic bar base and traditional soap ingredients they are pretty much identical except for those added emollients so Dove Shea Butter Beauty Bar has an addition of Shea Butter that is listed in the 11th place in the ingredients list and Dove Cream Oil has an addition of Moroccan Argan Oil and Sunflower Oil which are listed in the 10th and 11th place in the ingredients list now I'm mentioning the placement and the ordinal number of the ingredients in the ingredients list because this is very important it's really important how high they are listed because the first ingredient listed has the highest concentration in the formulation and the last ingredient listed has the lowest concentration so that means that the concentration of these added emollient ingredients is actually not that high being that they are listed in the 10th and 11th place in the ingredients list so I would say that they are not changing the formulation drastically but I will of course test uh, the effect on the skin just to be sure okay so in a nutshell they kept the original formulation of the beauty bar and just added a small amount of emollient ingredients in theory this could maybe create a more emollient a moisturizing effect on your skin or it could at least make the soap less drying but let's see if that was the case because of course I tested these two soaps on my face and I compared them to the original Dove beauty bar and let's see what has happened okay so so day one I tested Dove Cream Oil Beauty Bar so I started with this one and guess what this was the first day of filming and I got carried away and I lathered way too much as you can see so don't apply this much uh, soap to your face please don't be like me don't get carried away like that so um, yeah I applied way too much and I, when I performed the touching test later on I noticed that my skin was a little bit dry and I was like what what is going on but yeah I think that was because I was laddering way too much anyways day two I changed my technique <laughs> this time I applied less product as you can see and so I left uh, to grab a towel and my friend Linka wanted to make an appearance here so hi Linka thank you for filming me <laughs> I pay her with uh, chocolate so anyways back to the Dove uh, cream oil beauty bar second day it was 
a better situation on my face if I can say so. Um, then I moved on to testing she butter and uh, I again was very careful with how much I applied to my face. So I didn't apply a lot of product and I had similar results uh, to cream Dove Cream Oil Beauty Bar. It was My skin was soft and very well cleansed but I gotta be honest with you I still had to apply a lot of moisturizer after this. Okay, so day two of testing the Dove She Butter Cleansing Bar, I'm um, sorry, Beauty Bar. Again, I was very careful not to apply too much and I was very careful not to over cleanse my face. Um, as you can see here, I'm showing you like I'm done. That's enough cleansing. And uh, anyways, I had similar results. Again, my skin was very well cleansed and soft, but I still had to apply a lot of moisturizer on top of it. And finally, I went back to Dove Original Beauty Bar to see whether or not the effect with Dove Cream Oil and Dove uh, She Butter was different to Original Dove Beauty Bar. And again, same thing, I applied, uh, I didn't apply a lot, I was very careful not to over cleanse, and guess what? When I performed the touching test, I was very confused because I couldn't really tell the difference in the effect of the original Dove Beauty Bar compared to Dove Shea Butter and Dove Cream Oil. So, so yeah, those would be my observations and stay tuned because after this I will be giving you my final verdict on these Dove Beauty Bars. Just in case you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself really quickly. My name is Dani and I am a pharmacist specialized in cosmetology and that's why I make these fun informative videos in which I analyze ingredients of makeup and cosmetic products, mainly skincare those. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Thank you so much. Okay, now let me give you my final verdict on Dove Cream Oil Beauty Bar and Dove She Butter Beauty Bar. Okay, so first question is, are they really different than the original Dove Beauty Bar? Okay, so the answer would be no because the base formulations are pretty much the same and these two soaps just have a small amount of additional emollient added to the formulation. And that brings me to the next question, and that is, is the effect on the skin really different? And my answer would be, again, no, because I did not see a significant difference in the effect on the skin. But that does not mean that these are not good soaps. These are great soaps, all three of these. They all have the same properties. The only difference here is that besides having a different color, Moroccan oil and she butter have different color. It's are a little bit yellowish and they do smell differently. She butter smells like vanilla and Moroccan oil I guess smells like Moroccan argan oil. It does have an exotic scent if I can say so and the original Dove Beauty Bar is my personal favorite if you ask me because I love the way it smells. It has a clean scent. Clean. It smells clean. That's how it smells. But of course if you want to choose them based on smell go ahead you can do that because the effect on the skin is not going to be that different. I do have one advice when it comes to using these three. So you're not going to make a mistake with choosing any one of these three. But just make sure that when you are washing your face, you don't apply a lot of the product. As you saw in the first footage that I showed you the first day when I was testing the cream oil, I applied way too much. And of course, it dried out my skin. And that's going to happen always if you apply that much product. So just be careful. Less is more with these kind of beauty bars. You don't have to apply that much. They're cleansing really well, even when you apply a small amount. And that brings me to the next question, and that is which skin type are these soaps for? Well, I would say oily skin type can benefit a lot from these and maybe normal. And I wouldn't recommend these beauty bars for dry skin during colder days. And that brings me to the last part of this video, and that is answering the question that I kind of left open at the end of the previous video that I did on Dove Beauty Bar. Let's see what is that. I would say that no, Dove is not drying on my face and now during summer I'm really loving it for cleansing my face in the evening so the only concern for me is that maybe in the winter this will be drying on my face but I cannot know that right now uh, but in the winter I will have to get back to you for that one 
So as you heard, I said that I will get back to you during the colder days because I really enjoyed the beauty bar during summer. It was really removing the sunscreen really well and I had no breakouts during summer. And if you watched my La Roche-Posay video, you can check it out right here. You would know that actually La Roche-Posay chocolate fluid gave me a lot of breakouts. And the beauty bar pretty much cleared up my face in five days. So I was really happy with that. And I was using the beauty bar throughout the whole summer. And now that the cold days are here I'm really sad to disappoint you but I, I must admit I cannot use it during the colder days during first couple of minutes after washing my face with the beauty bar everything seems fine and my skin feels really soft but after a while it becomes really tight and really dry and I have to apply a moisturizer right away and I have to apply a lot to bring it back to normal so it's definitely not for dry skin during the colder days I cannot recommend it to dry skin but if you are oily and or, or if you're normal you might benefit these beauty bars because they do cleanse the face really well and it, they don't change the pH balance of the skin. Just make sure that you apply less, don't apply too much, less is more with these the beauty bars. And yeah, bottom line is that, yeah, I pretty much came back to uh, liquid send it again. This is Eucerin Dermato Clean Hyaluron Micellar Foam Water. Very mild. This has very mild surfactants that cleanse the skin. And of course, this is probably not cleansing my face as thoroughly as the Beauty Bar, but I'm, I'm kind of fine with that because during winter, I really need something that will not, not dry out my skin at all. And for me, this is this Eucerin. And, uh, cleansing foam. This feels as if I'm washing my face with only water and nothing else and my skin is exactly the same as before washing. So yeah, for, for now this is this is working out really well for me. But of course if the beauty bar isn't drying on your skin, if you're oily or normal then go ahead and keep using the beauty bar and stick to what works for you. So as another video please take into consideration everything that I said so far and figure out would these products work for you or not. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Onako kako si ti sapunala u ovom prošlom snimku, si niko ne sapunala. Onako niko ni tupe ne pere.